Kat and Alex from The Sewing Workshop. Have you ever wanted to work with laminated fabric to get that perfect raincoat? Well, do I have the project for you. Today we're working with a pattern called the Soho Coat that's a great rainwear option and it's made out of laminated fabric. So we're gonna talk about techniques and all kinds of tips and tricks to use with laminated fabrics. So let's get started. Here we have first, how do we cut this fabric? What are some things I need to know in order to cut this and do this well? Well, first things first, you want to only cut in a single layer. Because of the resistance and the thickness of this fabric, we won't want to um, mess with that much more than it already needs to get messed with. So you're gonna cut a single layer, and you also don't wanna use pins because pins will damage the fabric. So I've got my paperweights here, and I've also got clips. So those will be your go-to tools instead of pins. And for my fabric markings, things like notches and circles and dots, it's fine to just cut right into that notch. So with a single clip, you're fine to cut your notches that way. And again, um, going back a little bit, with grain line, you don't need to pay serious attention to grain line with laminated fabrics. Um, only if, it, because of the coating of this fabric, it tends to kind of cover that up. So only if on your certain fabric, if you notice the grain line being a certain way with your laminated technique, would you pay attention to that? But it's nothing serious you need to think about. So we've got our notch clipping, and with our dots and circles, we are going to use a smooth tracing wheel. And the reason we're using a smooth tracing wheel is because the notched wheel will leave an impression on the fabric and damage it just like pins would. So with our um, smooth wheel, we are simply gonna just put a X right in there on the dot. And we'll see that come through right there on the wrong side. And there you have some marking and clipping and cutting options. Now you'll see with my fabric, um, I've got it kind of looks like leather on the top, but on the back you see that it's coated differently. It's, a, it's just a basic fabric on the other side, so you're not gonna be coated on both the wrong and the right side. And I forgot to mention some of the other marking tools you might wanna have. Have on hand a marking pencil and also have on hand a soluble marker. Um, it would be nice with this fabric to cut some additional squares, some additional pieces to really experiment um, with these laminated fabrics. So again, mine looks like leather. You notice on the coat, there's a plastic coating with that fabric. So all laminated fabrics have a little bit different um, components to them. So don't be afraid to get out some test samples, to get out some different marking options and really make this project your own with the tools that you have. And don't be afraid to try some things. So you've got your marking and you've got your cutting and you've got some of those tools in place. So let's talk about seams. So here in my sample, I have on one side, I have a leather needle. On the left side, I have a jeans needle. So if you look closely, you won't see too much variation in those needles, but you will, again, with this fabric, you'll probably wanna have some test samples, so that would be something you wanna try. If you maybe get any skipped stitches, don't be afraid to put in a different needle. You'll also see on the back side, I've put some tissue paper there. That just gives the sewing machine a little bit more stability, um, and it doesn't matter really what kind of tissue paper you use, as long as it's a thin, tissue paper, maybe it's some extra pattern paper, um, but mine is just a plain tissue paper that I've got that I use to trace patterns with. So have those out, and what we're going to do today is this seam right here. We're going to do a top stitch seam with our laminated fabric. And what's great about having a top stitch seam is it just gives extra stability and um, kind of gives an additional vibe to your garment uh, because you've got some extra seams to help those seams lay really flat. Because this fabric doesn't press, um, heat will damage this fabric. Um, to top stitch it, it will help those seams lay really flat for you. So we've got over here thread, feet, and needles. The thread that I'm choosing for this fabric is a polyester thread. It's all purpose. 
The foot that I'm choosing is a coated foot that will help guide this fabric through the machine really well. And um, so another option for a foot would be a roller foot. Another option could be a walking foot. So again, have some different options if something isn't maybe working out for you. But my go-to for this project will be this coated foot polyester thread. And then my needle of choice is a leather needle. But another option could be a stretch needle or um, a jeans needle. Again, this fabric doesn't press. So what I have here is a wallpaper roller. Finger pressing will get you a long way, but the wallpaper roller will help secure those um, kind of uh, falling pieces down. Think, you know, something that just finger pressing wouldn't be able to get you. We'll get to that in a minute, but let's actually sew a seam. So in order to get my top stitching to be really nice, I have a sample here where I've simply sewn already my 5 8 inch seam. So I've put right sides together and I've, with my regular foot, have sewn a 5 8 inch seam. So I'm ready to start top stitching on either side of that seam. So I'm kind of going to finger press this in place, but here's where my wallpaper roller will come in handy. And that will just get an extra push for you. So just pressing that down and getting that as flat as you can. Like I mentioned before, tissue paper is your friend for this kind of fabric. So I have tissue paper placed behind this seam. And again, you might not need it, but it's always good to try. My seams are pressed open and I have my regular coated foot attached and I am just lining up my coated foot edge with that center seam. Again, my seams pressed open and I've got my leather needle so I'm starting to stitch. And that coated foot's really gonna push that fabric through very nicely. If you didn't have a coated foot, you would be, you would notice my hands kind of pushing this fabric along, but with this foot, it's, it's doing all the work for you. So I'm putting this off. So you'll see on this sample, that's what I've got. I've got one side done, paper attached. So I'm ready to go to my second side. Again, I'm just top stitching on both sides, equal distance apart from each other. Again, doing the second side. <clears throat> and you might want to pull this fabric taut as you sew. Um, there's something that can happen with this fabric called if it twerks a little bit, maybe you'll see the uh, leather fabric kind of groove as like where the seam would be. So if you see some of those grooving, ha some of that grooving happening or twerking, um, don't be afraid to pull that fabric to get a nice flat piece for you as you sew. But here we go, here is my finished sample of top stitching on both sides. Again, with paper, using my wallpaper mallet, using all the tools I have to stitch that seam very nice and flat for you guys. So let's talk about hems. You see on this hem sample, I've even noted the things that I did so that I could keep reference because I actually really liked this technique. I used a walking foot and a leather needle and of course my paper. Now, and of course you notice, again to kind of um, diminish that torquing that can happen with this laminated fabric, I've put two seams. I've put one down toward the fold line and up toward the seam uh, raw edge. Now in order to do that, I use something called craft tape, which will come in handy for this fabric since it doesn't press for you. Um, what it is, it's just a really narrow glue on both sides. Um, so in order for me to get a really nice fold with the fabric that doesn't press, I've put that hem tape on the bottom edge on the wrong side. So it's all ready for me to peel back and when I peel it back, it's revealing that glue sticky side so that when it's peeled back, all I need to do is measure up my seam allowance for the hem and finger press that in place. 
So after I finger press that, I'm ready to go to the sewing machine. And that's when I can top stitch one line close to the fold and then up toward the raw cut edge. Let's sew this hem. So if I look at this edge stitch foot, what's going to be really nice about that is, of course, the groove right in the middle that would allow me to place my needle um, to either side to get really close to that folded edge. But the only problem with that is it's not a coated foot. So if I were to use that, you would know, you would notice that my fabric would have a hard time pulling all the way through. So I'm going to keep this coated foot on and use that to just stitch as close as I can to that folded edge because that's the best foot option for me for this fabric. So what I'm doing is I'm aligning my edge of the foot with the folded edge and I'm just pushing my needle position over as far as I can to get close to that fold. All right. Now if you were to have maybe a roller foot or a walking foot with a groove, that would be a good option also. But I'm keeping this foot on because of that coated material that's on it that's allowing this fabric to push through really well. So there is my seam that's nice and close to the folded edge. And that's going to be a nice finish for you as you start to hem and finish up your seams. So here I'm doing a second seam. And that's going to be about an inch from that fold. So I'm just lining up the edge of the fabric with the seam plate, measuring that out. And here I go, finishing up that hem edge. And we'll go back up here. You guys can see my hem sample. That's what we're going for, using the coated foot for my hem edges. So here we are with the Soho coat. Let me tell you a little bit about this pattern and why this really works well for that traveling raincoat that you need. We've got an open front with these wonderful buckle details. I'm gonna unbu unbuckle this. You also see it in the middle. And with this great hood and waterproof fabric, you'll be ready for your next adventure.